Recently I released a video talking about a bishop who denied communion to a pro-abortion politician. And this bishop, his name is Bishop Peter Baldacino of Las Cruces, New Mexico. Now I felt that this was necessary to re-release this information in its own video just because this is such an important event, I, in my opinion. Uh, the senator who was denied communion, he was a New Mexico state senator, Joe Cervantes, he's obviously a Democrat, and uh, he said that the bishop refused him communion. And on Twitter he said, I was denied communion last night by the Catholic bishop here in Las Cruces and based on my political office, false. Uh, my new parish has indicated he will do the same after the last was run off. Please pray for the church authorities as Catholicism transitions under Pope Francis. Well, uh, apparently not in this diocese. So Bishop Baldacino was ordained a priest by former Cardinal McCarrick. Uh, he served as the auxiliary bishop in Miami under uh, Archbiker Bishop Wenske. Uh, for a while, and then he was uh, eventually appointed Bishop of Las Cruces, New Mexico. Now, the diocese declined to comment on this issue. Now, I think this is interesting because it shows that God can use uh, bad and turn it into good. And in this situation, this bishop is doing more for the pro-life movement than even Archbishop Cor de Leon. And I, I think that the, the diocese's statement of no comment... Uh, I think that's pretty savage, except that it could be a little bit better if they would have said that uh, this pro-abortion politician has been excommunicated. That would have been that would have been really solid. But uh, we'll take our wins where it, where we come, where they come. And I think that especially there's a lot of pressure on bishops now that the the Biden situation, um, you know, Biden going to communion is really a hot topic at this point. But uh, but this bishop has stood up, and a lot of bishops are very intimidated, and so they don't want to cause any kind of uh, controversy. And so a lot of them just try to shy away, hide in the shadows. But this bishop, and he's, he, you know, the diocese, he's not making any statement through the diocese, but uh, the statement has been made loud and clear by denying this pro abortion politician communion. And so. Um, you know, I support what this bishop is doing by denying him communion. No bishop should give communion to any uh, pro-abortion politician. Unfortunately, it happens quite frequently, as we can see in Joe Biden's situation. And Archbishop Gomez was publicly challenged by a pro-abortion senator in Los Angeles, but uh, so far he hasn't done anything. And so I, I just hope that a lot of bishops follow this bishop's lead. I know that a lot of bishops... It seems they support pro-life, which is good. It's Catholic. It's a good start for the Catholics. And this is just some encouraging news in the midst of a bunch of disappointing news. But, um, you know, we need to ask our bishops to step up like this bishop. And we can use our voices. And we can tell our bishops, hey, let's stand up for pro-life. Because we are the laity and we will not be silent.